quarter-final three of this Olympic qualifier coming to you live from Monterrey in Mexico. En el blanco número uno y representando a México, on target number one representing Mexico, Luis Álvarez. I hopes for the host country's only representative blanco, left in the competition. Dos, representando a Ecuador, on target number two representing Ecuador, José Antonio Álvarez. Well, we haven't seen this guy in international action for over two years, but it is looking like one of his best tournament performances to date. But just how far can he go? His compatriot made the semi-finals for Ecuador and qualified for the Olympics in the uh, women's recurve earlier on. like Luis Alvarez is going to go first. Both countries trying to qualify for the Olympic Games. Their hopes resting on these two archers. Long hold. Nueve, nine. Nueve, nine. Looks tense, doesn't he? No, well, there's a hood piece, you know, hanging in the balance. So. Nueve, nine. Both of them relieved to be getting some good scores with their first arrows and just settles into the draw and gets a Bien. 10 10 yes <laughs> matched by alvarez And 29 Ten. total, so Jose Alvarez gets the set and goes 2-0 up. We'll have to start calling them Luis and Jose, won't we? I think so, yeah. Not related as far as we know. <laughs> and if they keep going, this is going to be an interesting match, I think. They've impressed you, have they? Yeah, it's a very good start for both Archer. Resultado oficial después de la primera serie, dos puntos de set para José Álvarez de Ecuador, no punto de set para Luis Álvarez de México. Official results after the first 10, José Álvarez from Ecuador, two set points, Luis Álvarez from Mexico, no set points. So, the Ecuadorian claiming the first set then, the 24-year-old is ahead. But can he stay there? Can he uh, measure up to the pressure? Nueve, nine. Siete, seven. Seems to be getting up now. Yeah. Oh. Just a twitch there. I knew it wasn't. Well, Ocho. it was an eight in the end. That bad. No, yeah. oh, look on his face. That throw. <laughs> a bit of a wry smile there. And an eight for uh, Luis as eight. well. So just needs more than seven to go four nil up. 
and gets a seven. Siete. And that squares seven. it, and that means it's 3 1. Point apiece in that second set. I think he'll be happy with that, seeing how much he struggled on arrow number two and number three. I think that's telling us the wind is getting stronger. Resultado oficial después de la segunda serie. José, José Álvarez, Ecuador, tres puntos de set. Luis Álvarez, México, un punto de set. Official results after the second end. José Álvarez from Ecuador, three set points. Luis Álvarez, México, one seems set Seems to uh, just get the impression that José Álvarez, uh, this guy here, seems to be having, just enjoying himself, really. Seems to be having more fun. He seems to be having a good time, yeah. I think, you know, seeing the achievement from his... Uh, woman colleague must have you know give him a boost and you know make him more confident yeah adriana espinoza doing really well in the women's competition now can luis alvarez of mexico keep the home fans f um, happy they'll be watching on tv nueve nine can he square this match? Ocho. Eight. Ocho. Eight. Nueve, nine. Ocho posible nueve. Eight possible nine. Eight points in it. And nine will oh. win it. He gets the seven. Siete posible ocho. Seven Drops. possible eight. Drops the set. Uh, they need to double check the, uh, the, the 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 scores, but it's uh, it's three points apiece either way. I think we'll have to wait for the judges' call. Because it looked to me that Al Lewis's arrow was an eight. And that uh, Rosé might as well be an eight. Her agent's uh, decision has been made. Let's uh, hear what the official score is then. Oh, my bad. Okay, three, three. Um, no crowd. But he is on home territory. Do you think there's more pressure on on the Mexican? I think so, yes. I think that will add some pressure. Especially when no one's there to cheer for him and, you know, give him that extra boost. It will mean that being at home is just pressure instead of, you know, that enjoyment to be in front of you know your people well he succeeded on squaring things so uh, basically they're starting from Nueve. scratch again Nine. three all Nueve. Nine. there's nothing to separate them He was a bit low, wasn't he, with his first arrow, and then went too high with the second. And he's gone too far left. A knowing look at his coach, and a shake of his head. Six. Six. Another good arrow. Three nines Nueve. for Luis Alvarez, Nine. giving him 27. He 
needs nine or more to win. And he gets an eight. Ocho. So it's 5-3 now to the Mexican. Fifth and deciding set, a draw will be enough for the Mexican to win the match. So Jose Alvarez of Ecuador, if he wants to make it through to the semis, needs to win this fifth set. That's not Save. the way to start Six. a crucial set like this. Now he just has to hope that his opponent makes a couple of mistakes. Ocho, possible nueve. Eight, possible nine. Ocho. Alvarez just needs to keep his cool. Nueve. That's the nine, nine. seventeen in total. Quickly fired and Nueve. gets the nine, nine. twenty three. So six will win the match. He gets the seven, he wins seven. the set and wins the match 7-3. So the Mexican Luis Alvarez goes through to the semi-finals. That'll please the home fans watching at home. And we were talking about, you know, the effects of, of having the home crowd. You're saying, you know, it, it can be a boost, but uh, you obviously enjoy that support. Um, but for others, it might be intimidating. It might, yes, I've sadly never had the chance to shoot at home, but I would expect that it would be a boost, yes. I guess everybody's different, so it could be added pressure, especially on a day like this. But for example,